Where did you say this bloke had been? India. India. Yeah. I thought so. It's very rare, apparently. I've seen it before. Really? Yeah. Apparently, it's an adult cola one. That's the one. Yeah, I'm going to get this off as a path request. Well, uh, do you think that's... Yeah. That boy's a lover field, eh? You are a very bad man. Anyone fancy a sweetie? A very, very bad man. You wouldn't have me any other way. Hiya. All right, love. Look, the best thing to do is to come in here. Yeah. OK. I'll see you shortly, all right? Tanya's having pains. I told her to come in. I thought she was booked into St. James's for a C-section. Yep, yeah, tomorrow. She's a bag of nerves. You're not the only one. I keep checking up on her every five minutes. Poor girl probably needs a break. Listen, do you fancy coming round to mine tonight? I'll, uh, I'll cook us something up. I can't promise that, that it be edible, but I can promise wine. No, if you, uh, if you feel you have to stay with Tanya. No, I'd love to. If you're sure. Yeah. Good. I'd better see to her bed. And what are you so chirpy about? Do I have to have a reason? In this place, yes. Quick. Charlie and Duffy. Right. Um, I haven't seen them. Cola worm. Yeah, right. I can't believe you fell for it. Give it the game away. <laughs> Keep your mouth. Mum. Peter. Great to see you. Uncle Charlie. Tanya, love, how are you feeling? Yeah, no, I'm OK. It's just, um... She's had a lot of back pain. <laughs> OK, I've got a nice, quiet side room ready for you just through here, yeah? I spoke to the old man this morning. He misses you. Mummy wants us to come back home. Why don't you get Tanya a cuppa? Charlie! Um, Charlie, can I borrow you for a minute? Yeah. Um, this patient of yours, what's her story? Uh, looks like liver disease. Mm. Why? I don't know. Something's up with Tanya. I, I saw her looking at your patient like she'd just seen a ghost. Then she legged it. All right, let's see what I can dig up. Thanks. Duffy. Yeah. I found something on Karen. You might want to take a look. <sighs> she doesn't want to see Karen. She barely ever mentioned her family. I should have known something was wrong. Not your fault. I knew she didn't want to come back to England. I didn't know why. I thought she wanted to come home. No, Mum. Neither of us did. Did I really pressure you into it? You talked about nothing else for months. And I didn't get it. Till today. It's Charlie. <laughs> what? He's why you wanted to come back here. Peter! Be one sec. Did you know Mum and Ryan are going to give it another go? She didn't tell you that, did she? They've been talking on the phone every night. He wants us all to be together in New Zealand. Right. They have a family. They're going to have a grandchild. Whatever little thing you and her have got going on. Just remember that. You heard what he said, didn't you? Is it true? I don't know. Maybe. Yeah. And now, Tanya wants to go back to New Zealand with Peter and the baby. And your husband wants you to go back too. Peter said you were giving it another go. Ryan wants to. Do you? I don't know. I don't think I love him, Charlie.
I don't know if I ever did. You've been married for 15 years. We're just about to have a grandchild together. Some things are worth fighting for. Go home to your family. Duffy. It's Tanya. No spare key. The fire boys are on their way. Well, how long? Ten minutes, tops. Two. I need to get in there now. Something's not right. I've got it. All going to be tight. All right, all right, turn your love. Okay, just mind your head, mind your head. Okay. Right. Yeah. Got this by you. Oh. Right. Oh. How are you doing, Jez? All right, the head's out, but nothing else. Yeah. Right, I'm going to give you some space. I'll be outside if you need to know where anything is, all right? Peter, can you lower the head of the trolley for me, please? Uh, all right, Tanya, uh, I'm here, love. OK, uh, now, I need you to change position for me, all right? I'm going to move your legs up and back. Why? Just do as I say, love. Uh, uh, uh. The baby's shoulders are stuck, love. That's why baby's not coming out. No, I can't. I, 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 I can't. I can't do this. I don't know the best way to proceed. Yes, you do. You're not a mother or a grandmother right now. You're a midwife. It's what you do. I'm here with you. Tanya, listen to me. I need to press really hard on your abdomen, on your tummy. Yeah, and it's gonna hurt. But we've got to get this baby out, okay? Look, look, Charlie, Charlie, I need your weight here. Can you, can you lean on her abdomen, just above the pelvis, yeah? Yeah. All right. All right, we need these back doors breaking in quick as you can. All right, fire boys are here. We need cooking already. Okay, right. quick as you can, boys. I'm nearly there. I need you to give me one last push. Forgiving that one is forgiven. It is by dying that one awakens to eternal life. She's breathing. <laughs> She's breathing. <laughs> She's breathing. Did you hear that? <laughs> okay, okay. He's out there. We were always a good team. 
the best. 30 years. Where'd it go? I don't know, Charlie. 30 years of friendship. We'll always have that. It wasn't just friendship, though, was it? No. Duffy, Charlie, Karen. I just wanted to see her. Okay. See, Linda, I want to stay here with you. Because, um, because we're a family now. <laughs> Don't. When we were kids, if Mum was upset or sad or tired, she'd look at this. She didn't realise I knew what she was looking at. She's carried it in her purse ever since we left Holby. I don't want to talk it. I just need a moment. Where did you get this? I remember when that was taken. We just worked an 18-hour shift together, finished at 6 a.m. Should have gone home and had some sleep, but we didn't. We went and had breakfast in that horrible little greasy spoon on Elizabeth Street. <laughs> we just couldn't stop laughing. It's the sweetest breakfast I've ever had. Do you know why I remember it? Because I dropped you home afterwards. I came that close to kissing you. But I didn't, because I didn't want to be that bloke. But that's something I regretted from that day to this. But what about Ryan? <laughs> 15 years together, fighting for my marriage. What about 30 years together? I've got vomit in my hair. Oh, I can smell it. <laughs> Do I? 